Namaste, fam. Wolfgore here. Where have you been? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Mrs. Weasley. Let me explain. So, God, where to even begin? Uh, it's been a while, guys. It's been like over three months. I never intended for this break to go on as long as it has. And uh, in this video, I'm just gonna explain what I've been doing, kinda, kinda just to catch up with you guys. And first of all, I just wanna say I am sorry. I'm sorry this break went on so long. I didn't mean for that to happen. Uh, I just, I needed some time to myself uh, to clear my head. I was just getting kind of dealing with some like depression and anxiety type stuff, which I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate to. Uh, when I decided I needed to take my break a couple months ago, and uh, yeah, I just I just really needed some time to clear my head. And I have had that time and it has been great. And I've been wanting to come back to the channel for a while now, like over a month. I've been thinking about it and been more or less ready for it. Uh, and it, it's just, it, it's hard to pick up where you left off sometimes. You know, you gotta figure out, okay, what am I gonna do first, you know? Uh, so I just looked over and the dog is pooping and I was like, oh, whoa. What are you doing over there? Pooping. She's pooping. Oh. Hey, Morgana. Hey, sweetie. Was that a good poop? It was a good poop. Anyways, where was it? Uh, dog tangents. But yes, I am doing a lot better. Uh, just taking some time to myself has been really good for my headspace, for my mental head well-beings. It's been really nice to just focus on work. And, uh, you know, I, I love the channel and doing everything that I've done but it, it definitely adds a lot of stress to life and consumes a lot of time. So it's been really good to have a lot of time to myself, just play video games for me, not worry about turning them into videos or live streams or anything like that. Um, yeah, so I am doing well, and I'm not just saying that I really am doing well, uh, but God, I feel like such a dick. I Part of why it has been so hard for me to get back into the channel is because there's like, close to a hundred private messages waiting for me between YouTube and the Discord. And even on the last video that I posted, that I, I need to take a break one, I was like, hey guys, you know, PM me if, on the Discord if you wanna, you know, stay in touch or whatever. Hush, I'm recording Morgana. And I have not been uh, reading those private messages. It was, it's, and I feel really bad about it. It was one of those situations where you know, you, you mean to do something. It's like I didn't log into the Discord for like a week or whatever because I was doing stuff, you know, I was just distracted with life and then I was like, oh, there's like private messages. Like, I don't know if I'm emotionally ready to deal with that in this moment, so I'll do it tomorrow. And then tomorrow got pushed off to tomorrow and then that day it got pushed off to tomorrow. And then before long, it's been like two weeks and I'm like, oh fuck, I still haven't checked or responded to those private messages. And now it's like, it feels really weird. Like it would it would be weird, like people might think that I'm ignoring them or something. I don't know, I have social anxiety and I tend to overthink things, but it just got to a point where it was weird and like I just didn't want to deal with it. And you know, like I, I missed you guys and I wanted to communicate with, you know, the people who have messaged me, but I, I don't know, I just, I, I didn't get around to it and then it got to a point where it was weird. I'm sure we've all had situations where that happens, you know, with a text message or something. But um, I, I am sincerely, genuinely sorry if you felt like I was ignoring you. Uh, I really was not trying to do that, and I really do feel like super shitty about not responding to those messages. But I'm going to do that today, immediately after posting this video. So if anybody still watches my channel, um, if you're watching this video and it just posted, then I am currently uh, responding to your private messages on the Discord and on YouTube. So I'm gonna get all caught up with that, which uh, will be a, just a nice load off my mind. And hopefully nobody's mad at me and like, dude, what the fuck, why are you ignoring me? I really hope not, but I, you guys are all so sweet. I don't think that's actually gonna be the case. But we will see. There's only one way to find out, and that's to face life. Grab it by the balls. Uh, yeah. So, uh, with that topic being covered. What are we going to be doing on the channel? Well, I just don't think I'm going to do Let's Plays anymore. 
Uh, it's just, it's too time consuming. I never finish them. I always lose interest halfway through. I think I've finished maybe one. I meant to check before I started recording this, but it doesn't matter. The point is I almost never actually finish Let's Plays just because it requires so much time and energy. And, uh, you know, I, I was really proud of like the, the portal one that we were working on and stuff. There's a lot of creativity that I can put into Let's Plays. But it's just, I just don't have the time, you know? I'm, I'm a full-time electrician. I, I have an electrical contracting company now. I just, I don't have time to make Let's Plays. And I know most of y'all weren't super invested in the Let's Plays, but I know that some of you were. So I'm very sorry for those of you guys who uh, were invested in some of the, the shows that I was making. But I just, I just don't have time for it anymore. And I just, I need to hang on to that idea just like dude stop getting back into let's plays each time you take a break from the channel because you get overwhelmed you come back you say you're not going to do let's plays you end up starting doing let's plays you take on way too many projects you get overwhelmed burn out and then you got to take a break so i'm just i'm not going to do it pretty much all uh the only videos i'm going to make are videos like this just i'm, I'm not going to have them on a time schedule like once a week like i was doing it's just going to be, hey, when I have a vlog to make, something to say, something to communicate, something to share, uh, maybe I'm doing, you know, some sort of 30-day challenge thing as, you know, recommended by you guys, I will, uh, you know, I'll make that video and I'll post it. <laughs> Sorry, the dog was whining. I, uh, she doesn't like it when I talk to myself. It confuses her and then she starts whining and it distracts me while I'm trying to talk. What was I saying? Yes, uh, no more Let's Plays. I just, I can't do it. it I, I want to, I love making videos, but I can't do it. And uh, pretty much I'm just gonna be making vlog videos like this and other just little sharing with you guys behind the scenes kind of stuff because they're really enjoyable videos to make and they're pretty low effort on the editing side which is where the vast majority of the time gets sucked up in the let's plays hours and hours and hours and hours of editing which i don't have i don't have it well i do have it but i want it for myself and i want it for my social life and i spent so many months well i spent like two years just cutting things out of my life you know just chipping away at my social life until there was like nothing left and uh, cutting out hobbies and all this stuff just to try and make enough time so that I could post five Let's Play episodes a week. And then when I got to that point, it was like I burned out so quickly because it was like all I was doing was go to work, come home, fucking edit a Let's Play, and then post something every morning. And it was just, it's just too much. The only way I could do that would be if I was able to do this full time and was making enough money to do this full time. Uh, so that's just not an option, but I think I've made that clear. Sorry, no more Let's Plays. Not, not for now, probably not for a long time. Maybe not ever. Uh, but we will still be doing vlogs. And the most important thing I've come to the realization is the stream. That's what everybody really cares about, right? You know, everybody that I talk to about, you know, the channel or what have you, they're always like, uh, yeah, you know, your Let's Plays, they're good, your videos, blah, 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 but the stream, the stream, you're, you're a streamer, right? Like, everybody calls me a streamer, and for a long time I was like, I'm not a fucking streamer, I'm a YouTuber, I make YouTube videos. But I think I'm just gonna take that as a sign and be like, you know what, I'm a streamer. You know what, I like streaming. Streaming is relatively simple. You just play a video game that you like and turn on the live stream and kind of see what happens. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna live stream. I'm just gonna live stream and I'm not gonna force myself to live stream these full series. I'm just gonna live stream whatever I feel like doing. Whatever I feel like playing, that's what I'm going to play. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to stress about it. I'm not going to worry about having Bloodborne on Friday nights and this game on this night and this game on this night and blah 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 and trying to make everybody happy. I'm just, whatever I'm in the mood for, that's what I'm going to play. If it gets high numbers, whatever. If it gets low numbers, whatever. I, you know, and I think that's what it should have always been, but I just had this really unhealthy mindset about the channel because of the way it started that I had to be super successful so that I can make enough money to actually support myself and pay rent and eat and stuff um, because I quit a job that I'd had for like eight years when I started the channel and I was like oh my god I have to be successful at this but now I have an even better career as an electrician and I'm doing well so it's like taking this nice long break has been really good for my mentality like I don't have to make this channel into a million subscriber channel. You know, 
not that I was doing that anyways, but you know, I, I don't have to approach it with that mentality of like, I have to be successful. It can just be, this is my hobby. This is what I love doing. I love connecting with you guys and meeting new people. And so that's all I'm going to do. That's all I'm going to worry about. I'm not going to stress about being fucking Markiplier, you know, or PewDiePie. Like it's, it's never going to happen. I got into the game too late and you shouldn't be comparing yourself to other people anyways, because that's just unhealthy. I think I've covered most of what I wanted to talk about, but I am going to stream tonight for the first time in like three months. And I think we're going to stream Bloodborne just because I, I was sick of playing Bloodborne, but I haven't touched it since the last stream. I think it was like New Game Plus 97 or something. I haven't touched it since then, and I actually really feel like playing Bloodborne. It's been on my mind lately. So I think we're going to do a playthrough of that tonight over on Twitch. And it's going to be a lot of fun. And just it's just going to be like a no-pressure stream, you know. I'm not going to try and force anything to happen. I'm just going to live stream and enjoy myself. So if you see this, uh, I don't have an exact time picked out for the live stream. Uh, but there are links in the description below to Twitch. So, you know, if you follow me on Twitch, if you haven't done that already, and turn on notifications, you'll know when I'm live. Let's plan on starting the live stream at 5. 5 o'clock tonight. If you're watching this video before 5, it's going to happen in the near future. And if you're watching it after 5, then it's happening or already happened. So there you go. Bloodborne tonight. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to be rusty and I'm going to die a lot and it's going to be fun. So come join me. And uh, I am leaning towards just doing my streams on Twitch and then posting videos afterwards to YouTube. Maybe the whole streams, maybe edited down versions of, you know, just the goodies, just the best bits, but I'm not really sure yet. We can figure that all out as we go along. But as for right now, I'm gonna go edit this up really quickly, then I'm gonna post it, then I'm gonna respond to all of your guys' private messages that I've received for the past three months, and then we're gonna live stream and it's gonna be awesome. I love your faces. Beard heart, oh my God, I don't have a beard anymore. I just remembered because I haven't had a beard in a while. I forgot that that was a thing. So I did shave off my beard, and like all the way down to naked skin, and I looked really young and weird, and it was kind of nice for a little bit just to have a fresh face. But I'm growing it out again, as you can see. We're about two, two and a half weeks into the process, so it's actually starting to look a little bit beardy at this point. It's more than just stubble. And I actually kind of like it at this length. It looks kind of nice. It's, but uh, yeah, so uh, the beard is coming back. We get to watch me grow a beard again for probably the next couple of years. But I'm not going to lock myself into any contracts that I can't keep. Like, I'm not going to shave my beard until I have 10,000 YouTube subscribers. Because, uh, fuck that. It's, yeah, it's such a toxic, stupid promise to make to yourself. Ugh. Mm. I regret ever making that promise. And I'm sorry that I broke it. I do feel like an asshole for breaking it. But we've talked about that extensively in the past. So I'm not going to bring it up anymore now. I'll see you guys. I don't know what that was. Uh, I'll see you guys at the live stream later. Love your faces. Bye.